what's up tribe how you guys doing go ahead and hit your subscribe button and i hope you like this video this is going to be your review for the real housewives of beverly hills uh reunion part three now i'm going to be honest with you i don't even think i took a bunch of notes i didn't because it won't nothing I, listen bravo i need y'all to stop giving us three-part reunions when there's nothing to three part of the reunion okay so we we, the, I think the big thing was that they were bringing out Kathy Hilton. Now, I'm getting ready to say something that's probably very un, um, unpopular because y'all know I loved me some Kathy Hilton when she was on the show for those two seasons and she gave us some great sound bites and some great moments. Then it was the whole scandal of it all with what happened in Aspen that kept us on pins and needles for the whole season, which finally got us to get rid of lips. Like, I was here for all of that. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Just like I said about Apollo not needing to be on the real house, I mean on the Married to Medicine reunion, I have no idea why Kathy was here. And she ain't give us nothing. Kathy didn't give us anything that we couldn't have gotten or that we didn't get from Kyle. All that all Kathy was there was to show us that her and Kyle made up. We already know that. We already had that conversation. Kathy said that her and Kyle made up. They were at a family function. They started speaking, and then it, that got the ball rolling, and they're in a really good place. What I did find to be very interesting was Kathy was like, I mean, everybody keeps making a big deal. Like, me and my sister have these horrible arguments. I mean, we've probably had three arguments, and Kyle agreed that they've had three arguments. Here's the problem, Kathy. Y'all have three arguments that last for 10 years. Okay, when y'all got into the argument about Mauricio and the agency situation when he left um, the real estate business and started his own, like you didn't speak to your sister for years. Then y'all had the argument over her doing the American, um, the American mother, whatever the name of the show was that was loosely based on their mom. You stopped speaking to her, even though you admit you never watched the show. So you really don't know whether the show was good, bad or indifferent. But she was so worried about what Kyle was going to tell us about your mama. Which makes me wonder, what are the secrets that you thought Kyle was going to tell us? Because I watched the show. I watched the whole season of the show. And to be perfectly honest, the worst thing we saw about your mama was that she used to smoke her little weed. I mean, I ain't really see nothing too wrong. It was the 70s. Her husband had left her with three kids and her having to figure it out. She went from being a, ho a pampered housewife in a pool, I mean, a house with a pool and, and living the good life to having to work at the department store waiting on the same women that she used to have lunch with. I didn't see nothing wrong with the show, but it makes me wonder. I see the secrets that you keep. Y'all remember that song from back in the day? So... But what I did find to be very interesting, they played the package of Kathy, right? About every time Kathy's name was brought up this season. And what I love, the one thing I love about Erica Jane, as much as Erica gets on my nerves, Erica be standing in her ish. Baby, she said what she said about Kathy. And Kathy came on that couch and sat right down next to Erica. And Erica did not back down and Erica did not backtrack. And Kathy was like, well, you know, Erica, you never really did care about being a part of the Hollywood social circle. Now, I think that was a backhanded compliment, but her point was valid in saying, look, you never really cared about all of that. Like, even when you were with Tom and things were good, you never cared about getting invited to the right parties and being in the right places. So you wouldn't care. Now, Kathy also tried to defend herself and say, I'm not that person. I don't blacklist people from society. And girl, Erica was like, but, but Kathy, you know, you're very powerful. But Kathy, you know, you're Hollywood. But Kathy, you know, the power you yield. And what I, I feel like that was why Kathy was there is that she was there to try to maybe fix her image. But what I did find interesting, let me, before I get on the next thing, because the next thing is going to probably take me out of here. Um, Somebody told me last year, another content creator, I'm not going to say their name because I don't know if they want me to say their name, um, was like, basically, Kathy came on, a, on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills to clean up her image after Paris did her documentary and put out there that her parents sent her to that horrible boarding school situation where she was assaulted and things like that. And also to advertise for their reality show that was going to be over to, was it on Hulu, Peacock, whatever believe it at this point because I feel like Kathy did what she came to do the side effect was that her and Kyle had this fallout that they've kind of fixed now but I honestly feel the same way I feel like I, I, I really feel like this was all publicity to try to give us the hunky-dory 
Kathy Hilton. And I feel like that's why she came on this last episode was to clean, once again, be like, I would never be that person. I would never, that was never her. Now, what I found to be interesting was they showed us this package of every time Kathy's name was brought up. And the last little sequence we saw was when Sutton was talking to Kyle and admitted that Kathy called her and yelled at her because Kathy did not feel like Sutton was defending her well enough in the public. Baby, all of a sudden, Sutton got, she got attacked by a, a demonic spirit or something. Because she was sitting there, and again, I don't know if it was edited, but literally, it literally looked like she went, oh, and then all of a sudden, she started shaking, she, her blood pressure was through the roof, she needed uh, uh, orange juice, and they had her, they asked her, did she want to lay down, and she was like, no, they said, do you want to go to the hospital, they took her in the back, Garcelle went with her, they had her drinking juice and eating bananas, they said it had something to do with her neuropathy, neuropathy, that don't have nothing to do with no neuropathy, I was suspected of having neuropathy. I went through all the tests. The doctors had to sit down and talk to me about it. There wasn't no neuropathy. I don't know what the hell was wrong with Sutton. I think it was Kathyopoly. I think it was Hiltonopoly. I think it was you didn't want to sit across that couch and have to uh, uh, address what Kathy was about to come at you with. Because Kathy even leaned over to Erica and said, I think she got sick because she knew I was coming for her next. I said, ding, 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 ding. Baby, next thing you know, they came and got Garcelle's cell phone. They got Sutton's cell phone. Next thing you know, Garcelle and Sutton was in their street clothes. They was on their way to urgent care. Now, I, and they never came back. So, the whole third part of the reunion, we don't even have Sutton or Garcelle. Honestly, I really, and I don't mean, listen, Sutton, if you was really sick, girl, I'm sorry. But I really do feel like Sutton just didn't want to deal with Kathy. I honestly do because it just was so weird. It was so sudden. It was so, uh, I don't know. So, then we found out that Merce was in her purse again. I promise you I don't want to be disrespectful to this man. I don't. But how many of his ashes did you have, Sutton? Now, they said that she kept a little piece. She didn't release all of the ashes when they were over in um, Barcelona. And that's fine. But why is he here at the reunion? Why was he with us? Down to the reunion. I'm confusion. Then we spent the rest of the episode talking to Kyle about Kyle and, 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 and her husband. What happened, what didn't happen, and whether Kyle is, is dating Morgan or not. Listen, I don't have it in me to go through all of that. Can I just break this, break it down for y'all? And I'm going to give y'all what y'all already know. I'm going to speak the obvious because we all know what it is, okay? Listen, Mauricio cheated on, on Kyle one too many times because she said that, you know, there were things that were happening. She tried to get over him and she tried to sweep him under the rug, but she just couldn't get past it. And she found herself, she kept going back and she kept going back because that man cheated on you and he never changed his behavior and then you couldn't trust him. So when he was, when he was traveling and when the agency was getting bigger and listen, if you can't trust a broke man, you damn sure can't trust a rich one. Okay. When that man didn't have nothing and y'all was, you know, eating them ramen noodles and doing whatever it is you claim y'all was doing when y'all wasn't making no money and now he's flying private jets and he gone every other day gone to another city another location opening up offices all over the world girl please you that 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 little in the back of your mind was creeping up on you and the older them kids got and the less attention that they needed the less things you could refocus yourself on so you could uh, ignore the fact that you didn't trust your husband and you didn't trust that your husband was telling the truth or lying to you the more and more empty time you had to sit in it. And that is just what it is, okay? And when when um Andy asked her, well, people want to know, like, what is it? Just spit it out, Kyle. Kyle said, I don't owe you a mother effing thing. It is none of your effing business. And she right. I mean, we nosy as hell, and you are on a reality show. But I'm all here. I respect when you, I, I respect people who put boundaries. And I respect the fact that you was like, I don't owe you that. Because I feel like we only, do we really need her to spell it out for us? She said that they're at the point now where, yes, they are still living under the same roof, but he is talking about moving out and finding his own place. Sir, you a real estate agent. You have offices all over the world. Why you ain't found nowhere yet? I feel like you should know all of the real estate in Beverly Hills. 
How you ain't found nowhere to live? If you wanted to move, you could have moved. So whatever. Then we get on this whole Morgan thing. Listen, Kylie Morgan, they, they testing the water. She dipping her pinky toe in the girly pond, and she not really sure if she want to be there or not. This is all new for her. She not really sure how everybody going to take it, how the, how the, how the public is going to take it. So she back she backdoor her way in it. Next season, and Andy even said it. He was like, well, maybe next season Morgan will be on the couch with us. The only reason why Morgan will be on the couch at the reunion is if Kyle and Morgan are a couple. Because, I mean, last time I checked, best, do best friends get invited to sit on the couch at the reunion? So I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, If I'm missing anything, it just won't important. Let me think before I go any further. Ch Dorit, who cares? I don't care about Dorit. Um... Anne Marie, I don't think Anne Marie said nothing except for when Sutton fell out. She was like, check her vitals. So I don't remember. I don't care about Anne Marie. Uh, Kathy, I already told y'all about Kathy. Erica, child, we done with Erica. Yeah, that was pretty much what part three was given. I feel like maybe there was more, but because Garcelle um, and Sutton weren't there, that might have took away some of what they were going to talk about. But then to me, all the more reason why you make this two parts. You, Bravo, y'all didn't have three parts worth of information for this reunion but neither here nor there that was part three we are done with the housewives until next season but what we do already know is they they are going to start filming in april far from what i'm being told and baby we already got some stuff to talk about because mauricio's reality show he talks about why him and uh why he left uh the hilton agency and he's talking a little ish and then paris responded so child we right back in the mix of the whole hilton kerfuffle now kathy tried to bring it up on the reunion and i'm gonna tell you what i feel like i feel like andy knew because of course that show was on peacock andy knew what was said on the show andy tried to bring it up so that Kyle could address it and Kathy could address it maybe to get ahead of Mauricio's episode or to just kind of go hand in hand with the episode. Kyle shut it down. She said, I don't want to talk about it. I'm sick of it. That's old. That's stuff we've already dealt with. I am not trying to go back there. But baby, Kathy was ready. And what Kathy said was, family is going to always be family. And we were never upset that he decided that he was going to leave and start his own thing. We told him all he that all we ask is that he not poach any of our agents or any of our clients, and he did do that, and that is where the animosity came from. Baby Kyle was like, I ain't, I ain't, I don't have nothing to say. So that was that. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I will talk to y'all later.